ABC 5 News at Sunrise starts now. Hello, good morning, everybody. It's the 20th of January, 2012, a Friday morning. I'm Ann McCloy. And good morning. Another work week coming to an end. It's sunrise at 630. I'm Austin Reed. Let's get right to meteorologist Cameron Laughlin for weather first. Yeah, more flooding like we just said. Cameron, good morning to you. What do you have for us? Heading further north, the Salem area still underwater this morning, many calling it a 100-year flood, prompting Governor John Kitzhaber to declare a state of emergency for Marion and nearby counties. The rising waters have forced residents to pile up sandbags to protect their homes. The Red Cross is setting up shelters for those who have been displaced by the floods. Well, back in southern Oregon this morning, Coos County has been declared a disaster zone by the governor. And we have new pictures into our newsroom of the flooding there. Check it out. As you can see, the water has risen over the banks and now fills the streets, even reaching up to mailboxes. By declaring a state of emergency, the governor also directed the Oregon Military Department and Office of Emergency Management to coordinate all requests for state assistance from affected counties. We do have weather-related school delays to report for you. Let's get right to them. The Port Orford and Langlois school districts, all campuses in both districts have a two-hour late start. As we mentioned earlier, the Oregon State University main campus in Corvallis, classes as well as activities Friday have been canceled by the university president. That's due to flooding concerns. Of course, stay with NBC5 for all of your school closures. Courtney Olish, thank you for that report. Over seven inches of rain fell in Brookings over the last 48 hours, but the rain this morning has tapered off. More, though, could come tonight with high winds. And at 637, all new this morning in Decision 2012, the four remaining GOP candidates played to their individual strengths in last night's debate. Among them, the target was on Newt Gingrich's back. This just hours after Rick Perry dropped out of the race and endorsed him. Gingrich's wife of 18 years told ABC he cheated on her while publicly uh, promoting family values. And while Gingrich admits to being unfaithful, he chided CNN for making it question number one on Thursday night. Polls open tomorrow in South Carolina. Oregon 255, that's near Brookings. The highway is still closed due to flooding. Oregon 42, that's in Coos County near the Douglas County line. A rock slide has occurred there. Watch for delays. On I-84, 10 miles west of LeGrand and 15 miles east of Pendleton, the highway still closed. That's in far eastern Oregon for those of you traveling this weekend. Sunrise at KOBI5.com is our email. Let us know if you see an accident on the roads. We'll report it live. And now let's get a check on the least expensive gas prices from southern Oregon to upper northern California. Austin Reed, thank you. 641 now. Sunrise at 630, just getting started for you. Coming up, our weekend spotlight, re spotlight returns uh, from what's new in movies to local events. We've got you covered this weekend, plus more flooding coverage. So stay with us. We're on air this morning, online all day, whether it's KOBI5.com, Facebook, or Twitter. We are always first for local breaking news and weather.